Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from today's iPhone.com and here's your TIP daily for August 8th, 2012. Alright, now the first story of the day actually has to do with the Samsung Apple legal battle and I usually don't like to talk about this just because it's so pointless and monotonous and boring. Uh, but I thought I should mention this one little bit of news just because it's pretty interesting. According to a recent study, 50% of consumers cannot tell the difference between the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 and the iPad based on Samsung's television commercials. And what's more, 16% of consumers viewing those television commercials from Samsung don't even put together that Samsung makes a tablet and not Apple. So, all in all, I'd say Apple got a pretty good leg up in the Samsung copied us lawsuit. Alright, moving on, we've got a couple bits of iPhone 5 news to end the day. Uh, first of all, a website called Apple.pro is reporting that the next generation iPhone will be 18% thinner than the iPhone 4S. Now, they claim Apple accomplished this through a bunch of different design changes, you know, the elongation of the device to accommodate the 4-inch screen, the relocation of the headphone jack to the bottom of the device, the use of a nano SIM card tray instead of a micro SIM card tray, and they've included some pictures and some leaked schematics and stuff. Uh, so you can check those out if you want, nothing is certain. Uh, and then another one of the things that uh, they claim reduces the size is a 8 or 9 pin dock. And there was actually another story about the dock today that claims that it will in fact be 8 or 9 pins instead of the 19 pin dock we've been hearing about, which is that is instead of the 30 pin dock that we're used to on iOS devices. Uh, now we have a picture of this and it seems that there's a metal ring around uh, the next generation iPhone's dock. It could be maybe a MagSafe connector, which would be insane, uh, but nothing is certain. An 8 or 9 pin dock does seem kind of likely though, considering that 9 to 5 Mac uncovered a bit of code in the iOS 6 beta that refers to a 9 pin dock. So take that as you will, as we get closer and closer to the iPhone launch where these stores are going to keep piling in and piling in and uh, no matter how much backing you have to a rumor, it's still just a rumor until Apple confirms it, so definitely keep that in mind. Okay, well that's it for today guys, thank you very much for watching. Before we go, I'm going to leave you with a question of the day, and that is, can you tell the difference between an iPad and a Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. Uh, as always, the links to everything I talked about in this video are in the description down below, so please go check those out. And for more news, views, and reviews, definitely head over to todaysiphone.com.